Good evening people out there in the World Wide Web, Cameron coming to you again from Geelong in Victoria, Australia. I decided to do a video tonight on AFL Premierships. Some of the DVDs I've bought of certain teams who've run Premierships, um, just for something different to do. AFL, Australian Rules Football, was the VFL at one stage. Um, for about the first, you know, ninety five years of the league or something it was the it was the VFL. But what I'll do is just go over some of my premiership some of the not my premierships and not um my team necessarily, but there's certain DVDs I bought of you know, ones I picked but for whatever reason, one reason or another, not in any particular order, apart of apart from of course um, usually the last one I do is the one that's special to me or is my favourite. Starting with 1978, Hawthorne. I've picked this one because I had a teacher. This person was my teacher in grade 5 who was a member of the Premiership team. I won't name the individual, but pretty much... A AFL slash VFL premiership is the ultimate success in this sport, Australian rules football. Um, I probably should have said that, you know, the way for hundreds of years, the way the leagues worked is you have a home and away season where teams play each other. Then a final series, Americans would probably call it the playoff, so it might be slightly different to a playoff series. Then the two surviving teams at the end of the final series play off in the grand final. So these DVDs are of that grand final match and of course the team that wins that are crowned the Premiers. So yeah, this teacher of mine, he is a Premiership player and you know there's probably a lot of players who were probably not to diss this man or anything. Um, I have great respect for him of course. Hence, I've got this DVD. Um, probably, uh, you know, players that might have on paper been considered a lot more successful. Uh, lots, hundreds of them have gone through the AFL, VFL over the years, and they don't have a premiership. As I said, premierships are the ultimate success. 1987, Carlton. Now, the reason I picked this one is kind of interesting. Um, it was just a very funny day, this particular one. Just reading the blurb on the back. Um, the mercury tipped 30 degrees Celsius. That is ruddy well hot. I mean, it's, it was the end of the first month of spring. So you could probably expect the weather to be getting warm by then. But, you know, it was not football weather. Um, at the time, Bob Hawke was our Prime Minister. He attended this match. Um, and also, probably another reason why I picked it is, I believe, in 1987, I could probably research all this, of course, but I can't be bothered. Um, so, you know, you, you, you might be able to correct me, but I believe the ABC had the rights to football in this particular year, although it does say on their seven sport, so maybe that's not quite right, don't know, but anyway, I picked this one because it was sort of unique, although we've had some grand finals since where it's been hot weather, but this was a hot weather one, and Carlton won it, um, a lot of people hate Carlton, but I have an interest in this particular grand final. 2001, Brisbane Lions. Now, at the time, um, a member of my family barracked for the Brisbane Lions. This team started off as, it's a merged team as a matter of fact. It's two teams that merged into one in 1996. And Fitzroy Lions and the Brisbane Bears. This particular member of my family was a Brisbane Bears follower. They were an introduced team into the uh, AF VFL in 1987 
and the Fitzroy Lions started in 1897. They were a very successful team for the, about the first 20 years, and then they won about one more premiership after that in 1944, and then there was a very long drought. Train going past there. That'll be a velocity train, but anyway, um, yes, uh, very long drought. The poor Brisbane Bears used to be called the Bad News Bears, and you know, they were sort of apart from maybe a couple of other teams from time to time who had even worse years. The Brisbane Bears were sort of cellar dwellers for a little while there, a couple of wooden spoons to their name when they were the Bears. And I chose this particular one because, you know, it's a groundbreaking grand final, groundbreaking win. And, yes, uh, Brisbane had won it. Now, so the thing that's always interested me is this particular one, their first one. This was first a three-in-a-row premiership, so they had a three-peat in premierships. And the thing that's always interested me about this one is it says... Brisbane Lions AFC. Once again, I could probably research this, but I think it's a Brisbane thing. Brisbane is generally Australian rules football isn't isn't like a native sport up there, even though Queensland is sort of well, sort of Queensland is the second biggest state here in Australia. It's part of Australia, has been for ever and a day. Well, <laughs> as long as the country's been a country, so to speak, but. You know, but for whatever reason, um, I think one of the champions of this team, um, he explained in one of his biographies um, what happened as far as, you know, they play rugby up there in Queensland, in Brisbane. And so, anyway, getting off the track here, but I think AFC means Australian, Australian Football Club. Up there they call Aussie rules Australian football. Whenever I've been on holidays up there, it is strange. You're still in Australia and they sort of differentiate, you know, calling it Australian football, almost like they're not Australia. They are, of course, but, you know, this was a great grand final. Um, Defied all the odds. The best team of of this year before... Brisbane Lions won the Premiership, was the Essendon Football Club, and they've probably gone down a lot, a lot other teams have, of course, over the course of time, but they have gone down as, Essendon had gone down as like massive underachievers due to the fact that they lost this grand final when they were the favourites. Um, they won the one the year before, not a whimper from anyone else in the league. But then the year before that, they also very unexpectedly were knocked out of the finals race by an underdog. But anyway, that's what it's worth. Um, the Brisbane Lions defied the odds. They won. They got the flag. It was theirs. Richmond, 1980. 1980 was my birth year. Um, so it was about a month old when this has been, when this grand final happened. At the time, my understanding is it was a record margin. The I don't know what other leagues have. I think the NRL has um has Manly as the most hated team if you don't barrack for him. In AFL, the team that's most hated, at least from the VFL days, is Collingwood. If you don't barrack for him, you hate them. That's not probably quite true with me, to be honest. I don't overly hate them, but, you know, really, it's just the way it's ingrained in the culture. If you don't barrack for Collingwood, you hate Collingwood. And this is a DVD of them getting thrashed. Absolutely crapped on. And this was the last premiership that Richmond have won thus far. They've got a good team this year. You know, maybe they'll win it. Who knows? But that's why I've chosen this one as one of my picks. Essendon, 1985. Probably when I was a really small child, 
Essendon was the team I nominally followed, only because my dad buried four of them. But anyway, I was, I'm far too young to remember this, apart from, well, no, I was about five years old, but apart from this DVD, this can bring it back, you can see it. Memories and an all-in brawl in the first quarter, I think it was the first quarter. Um, and I think this, uh, you know, Essendon managed to go back-to-back -back after winning this. Well, so they won this and this made it back-to-back. -back. Um, and this DVD, you know, it's just one I like, you know. It's, it was good old days, you know, before the Great, the great Southern Stand. Um, I think they had the Australian the Australian flag on the ground incorporated into the VFL logo. I'll probably put it on and find that out. But um, this is one of my picks. 1985 Grand Final. Last, but not least, I said my team was deprived of Premiership success. 1966. St Kilda's one and only Premiership. They have made other grand finals since, and before, but since. They've gone, into, gone in as, well, maybe not favourites of these grand finals since, but um, they came so close in 2010 to pulling one off uh, as an underdog. Every, you know, let's be honest, a lot of other teams... You know, it just just would have gone their way. It just it's that that very dying minutes of two thousand and ten, they would have found a way of getting getting a behind or anything to put them ahead and win, but it wasn't to be. Just a very very unlucky team, my beloved Saints. But this, of course, I've got to put this up the top because it's the only one I've got, and, and up until. Up until last year, Western Bulldogs fans would have been in the same boat. They would have, um, you know, they didn't even have a DVD until then. Um, so here it is. Unfortunately, you know, what can I say about this club, my club? They, um, they haven't got a DVD of winning a, a daytime premiership in colour. This is in the old days of black and white television. But it was just after Australia changed the decimal currency, so they've never won one in the days of the old pounds, shillings and pence. They haven't won one in the days of coloured television. 1966, funnily enough, the only time England had won the Soccer World Cup. But um, here it is, 1966. My beloved Saints managed to win by a point. Barry Breen the hit, went down as a hero of our club forever on that afternoon when he kicked a wobbly drop punt and it sailed, well, sailed through, it went through for a behind. The Saints were a point up in the dying minutes of the last quarter and we won our one and only Premiership, 74 to 73 points. If you wish, drop a comment down in the comment section tell me what you think about this if you want to you don't have to but what i'll say for now is goodbye and just keep your eyes peeled you know you might find other videos from me you might just have some you know something to enjoy catch us all later